on. Let's get a move on. Just soon to avoid disappointment. It's an honor to receive such high praise from you. To be honest, I was also hoping you might be able to point out some flaws in the product so I can keep improving it. With most skincare products, pros and cons only become apparent with long term use. Oh, yet, yeah, this one has instant benefits. Improving skin quality without any obvious side effects. It's one of a kind. Don't worry though, I plan to keep using it. And I'll publish regular reviews in Bote en Fleur. You can read my thoughts there. All you need to do is subscribe. Oh, I was hoping for a more casual conversation, but you are a beauty association leader after all. I understand if you want to keep this professional. See, Dream? Oh, um... <laughs> Excuse us, Miss Beauty Expert, but do you think this product is a good choice for me and him? Hmm? Wait, are you the renowned traveler? That's right, and by his side, the equally famous Paimon. <laughs> well, I don't normally handle customer questions personally, but since it's the traveler asking, allow me to make an exception. Butterfly Dew is made for all skin types, so no matter who you are, you can rest assured that it will be kind to your skin. If anything, it might be marginally more effective on Fontanian's skin, but other than that, it works the same on everyone. Why would it work better on Fontanian's? Um, <clears throat> in the interests of protecting my trade secrets, I'm afraid I can't answer that, Miss Paimon. Uh, all right then. How about a friend discount? Save yourself the trouble. I'd be greatly honored to have both of you use my product. Here, take two bottles for free. Yay! Paimon's private fun survives! <laughs> I can see why you might think that, but please don't misunderstand. This gift is simply a token of my esteem. There's no business motivation behind it. To me, finding new customers for Butterfly Dew is about meeting kindred spirits, fellow admirers of physical beauty. I consider it a labor of love. 
Admirers of physical beauty. Eesh, that's embarrassing to say out loud. It, it sounds so shallow. It's nothing to be ashamed of, Miss Paimon. Most people claim to desire inner virtue, but it's still physical appearance that turns their heads. This is a fact of life. It's only natural for people to desire to become beautiful. And that's exactly what inspired me to choose this research direction in the first place. You're right. Everyone loves beauty, don't they? Ah, look at the time. My apologies, but I have other things to attend to. I'll leave you with these two bottles of butterfly dew, and I look forward to seeing you again. Paimon, I'd say there's no need for you and the Traveler to use this product for now. But why? Is there a problem with it? The quality is fine. I just think there's room for improvement. I think I could add some ingredients to the mix to make it more effective. Really? Then why didn't you tell Rewant about that? Researchers are a very special breed of human. You can point out their flaws to their face and they won't mind very much. But if you tell them that someone else could do a better job, ooh, now that'll make them really upset. If I'd mentioned it, he probably wouldn't have given you those two bottles for free. Huh, fair enough, that makes sense. If you're interested in the more effective version, I can write up a list of ingredients for you. Just come get me once you've gathered them. When you say more effective, you mean it'll make Paimon even prettier? Ooh, how can we say no? As for me, it's probably time I got back to the Fortress of Meripede. I mustn't leave the infirmary unattended for too long. Alright, see you there then! for Sea Dream should be nearby. Transfix! Stabilize!
doing? Let's head to the Fortress of Meripede. yourself a welfare meal.
Whoa, the infirmary is packed. Please, you have to believe me. I saw it with my own eyes last night. Another me. He looked exactly like me. Got it? Okay. I've written down everything you told me. Now, I have a few tests to run. Take a deep breath and don't worry. It's nothing to be nervous about. First, which finger am I holding up? Your index finger, but I'm telling you, my mental state is fine. I'm not crazy. Very good. Now, on to the next. Hey there, Your Grace. It's been a while, huh? Ah, it's you two. Indeed it has. I would offer you some tea, but I'm afraid the timing is unfortunate. Duty calls. No worries. Actually, we were looking for Sea Dream. Do you, uh, know what all of this is about? This inmate came running to the guards in a panic, claiming to have seen his exact doppelganger. A doppelganger? Doesn't that just mean someone else kind of looks like him? And that's what I thought when the report first reached my desk. But we've inspected our records. No one even vaguely resembles him. Considering how certain he is of what he saw, I can only surmise that he's having some mental issues. So I brought him for a medical evaluation. All right, very good. Take a sip of water and rest for a bit. Evaluation complete. I couldn't find any symptoms pointing to a physical condition. I see. So, do you still believe there's more likely to be an issue with his mind than his body? I have to assume so for now. Psychological issues are more difficult to detect. At this stage, we can at least confirm that he is in command of his cognitive faculties. The rumor mill will go crazy if word of this gets out. Guards, take him to the ward for a period of observation. The Marachose Phantom has requested my cooperation on a case, otherwise I'd deal with this myself. Sorry for the trouble, Head Nurse, but I'll have to leave this to you. No problem, Your Grace. I'll add him to my observation list. By the way, we have a couple of guests here who've made the trip just to see you. I imagine it must be important. You probably won't need to add them to your observation list, though. Oh, Traveler! Paimon, it's you! Important, but... I'll be in my office if you desperately need me. Goodbye for now. Okay, bye-bye! So, uh, Sea Dream. Would you mind waiting for just a moment? I have another patient to see. Uh, just find an empty bed and take a seat. I won't be long. Oh, sure! Sea Dream, we've brought him. And he seems to have taken a turn for the worse again. Okay, don't panic. Let's start by sitting him down here. Paimon had no idea how busy it can get for Sea Dream. Maybe now's not the time to ask for her help with skincare. Good point. Besides, it might actually be interesting to observe her at work. Well, this could hurt. So I suggest you take a deep breath first. Did his face melt? What happened to him? It's anyone's guess. His face melted off shortly after arriving at the fortress. But since he's a serious offender, he can't be allowed out for medical treatment. Best we can do for now is ask the head nurse to give him something to manage the symptoms. Oh, this is gonna be awkward. We still need to bring him to the Marachose Phantom for questioning. What if he scares them half to death? Will that be our fault? The Marachose Phantom? Does this have something to do with the case Risley's dealing with? Yep, it was a huge case. They bagged a few dozen crooks in one fell swoop. And this guy's the baddest apple of the bunch. He harmed countless people. And now, it looks like it's all finally catching up with him. You dumb gawking. Not yet. I need to check the severity of your ulcers to decide the right dosage. <sighs> Don't worry. We Melazines have a very different sense of aesthetics from humans. To me, he just looked like a little kitty with slightly scruffy fur, but still just as cute. Don't patronize me. Do I look like a kid to you? Just give me the meds and let me out of here. I already missed my cell. Hey, lose the attitude. 
You dare talk back to our head nurse like that again? Your days are numbered! Oh, it's fine. Okay, I'm going to apply the medication now. Tell me if it hurts, all right? Look how nice Sea Dream's being. And he still talks to her like that? What a nasty piece of work. Can I leave now? Wow, not a peep. What a brave little guy. Thank you, Sijuin. And I apologize for the trouble. Uh, so, Traveler, Paimon, did you bring the ingredients? Uh, we did, but we don't want to interfere or anything. You're busy saving lives here. Oh, don't be silly. I agreed to it, didn't I? Just hand me the ingredients, and I'll make some time to whip it into the improved version for you. Take a rest here if you want. Or, if you're not tired, I hear they're holding a new pancreation tournament in the administration area. Um, or alternatively, is there anything we could help you with, Seedwing? That's right! Let us help you out! It's the least we could do! Hmm, good point. Kind-hearted humans start to develop guilt if they accept free help from others. Mm, don't worry. I'll take a look at my schedule. I'm sure I can find something to treat this condition. I gotta warn you, though. It'll be tiring work. So I suggest you take a break first, then come back and see me when you're ready. Thank <laughs> you. 